Hi guys, my name is Carl Pravic, Henzo Racy Black Belt. We're here at my school in Saddleburg, New Jersey, Silver Fox BJJ, and I'm going to show you one of my favorite arm locks. Now, this arm lock, I like to use it from the top of cross side. Um, this works equally well with the gi as well without the gi. All right. What I'll do is I'll set the guy up, I'll switch my arms, and I start to move towards his head so his arm slips towards my hip. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to windshield wiper my legs here, make it look a lot of times like I'm attacking the forearm. I will push his head out of the way, step over, and just sit nice. Guys, do not drop your back to the ground because this is an extremely tight arm lock. All you need to do is just bring your inner thigh in. It's very, very tight. Now, the other thing about it, particularly from a nogi perspective, this is very easy to stop the guy even pretty far into his spin. So his natural escape is a spin. I can stop him even fairly far into the spin. Okay? All right, guys, from the back now. Since we're going to start out top cross side, I switch my arms. I'll start to move towards his head so he'll pop his arm this way. Right away, I'll go start to go back. I will not isolate it and I will not hold on to it real tight because anytime you do that, the guy rips out. What I want to do is plant his arm, kind of his elbow, on my inner thigh. That's all I need. Fairly loose. I need some space between his, his lat and my leg to allow me to pop my leg up as I'm falling back. All right, so I isolate it. I don't, I don't control it real tight. It's sort of a surprise move. I drive forward, swing and wipe on my legs, step over. If you want, you can push the guy's head, step over, and gently fall back. Guys, control it with pulling on your leg. All right? So let's do it again. So I'll, have, I'll be controlling top across side. I'm going to switch my hands, move to this head so he pops his arm out this way. Hopefully he's thinking about busting out the back way. What I'm going to do is a lot of times I make it look like I'm attacking the forearm. I'm going to push his head out of the way, step over, and we have a tight arm lock. Now, if for some reason I actually lose him where he starts spinning around too far, I can stop him even here. But if I lose him to the point where he spins all the way out, I will catch him with an inverted triangle. However, you'll have to tune in next time for that one. Ha, ha, ha.